The 2023 season may have been a whitewash, absolute dominance by Red Bull. But let's see what 2024 can hold. Let's see what the teams have in store for us and who can bring back the competitive fight at the front. Do you think it'll be Mercedes? Do you think it'll be Ferrari? Let me know down in the comments who you think is going to be the competitive edge this season. So let's introduce this season's teams and drivers. So over at Haas, they have stuck with their lineup from last season with Kevin Magnussen and Nico Hulkenberg. Obviously, a very disappointing season for them last year, finishing 10th in the Constructors' Championships. They'll be aiming for much, much more this coming year. Hopefully, they've found out what their problems were in the off-season and have been able to rectify that heading into this next season. Let's now take a look at what was formerly known as Alfa Romeo F1 team, who are now Stake Sauber F1 team. They stick with their lineup of Valtteri Bottas and Guan Yu Zhou. Obviously, Terry Porsche is very upset not to have been given the chance in Formula 1, given that he was set the target of winning Formula 2. However, I believe he is heading to Super Formula, and that will be interesting to see how he gets on. Obviously, Alfa Romero finished ninth in the Constructors' Championships this season, and obviously Valtteri Bottas and Guan Yu Zhou will both be hoping for much, much more in 2024. Now, on to Scuderia Alpha Tauri RB. Now, who knows what the RB stands for? They claim it could be racing bulls, but obviously I think we all know what it really stands for. They are sticking with the driver lineup that they ended with of Yuki Tsunoda and Daniel Ricciardo. Obviously, they'll be hoping for some more consistency this year and not expecting to change drivers as much. Although, I could quite easily see Daniel Ricciardo replacing Sergio Perez in that Red Bull car during this 2024 season if Perez isn't up to speed. Yuki Tsunoda had a brilliant 2023 and he'll be hoping to improve on that if Alpha Tauri improve their car. So, will they improve this year? Will having Daniel Ricciardo in the seat improve where they finish in the standings? They were just a few points behind Williams. Williams Racing, again, have stuck with their lineup from 2023. They've stuck with Alex Albon and Logan Sargent. Despite masses of rumours about Logan being moved away from Williams, that has not been the case. James Vowles has stuck faith into Logan Sargent and is giving him the chance to develop as a racing driver. There is rumours that Williams Racing will be taking a keen look into Kimi Antoinelli in Formula 2 next season as he could be the one to replace Logan or Alex at the end of the 2024 season. Obviously, Alex Elbon is a driver with a lot of pedigree in Formula 1 now. His contract comes to an end at the end of this season and with seats at Ferrari potentially being available and at Red Bull with Sergio Perez's contract expiring, will Alex renew his contract? Will he want to stay at Williams Racing at the end of 2024? That's something that I'm interested to see and let's see if Williams can develop on that P7 finish in the Constructors' Championship. Now, on to Alpine. They stick with the all French lineup of Pierre Gasly and Esteban Ocon. The two French drivers obviously weren't where they wanted to be. They expected Alpine to be doing much, much more this season, last season. But Alpine now have the opportunity to improve their car over the offseason and give Pierre Gasly and Esteban Ocon a chance to get into the upper echelons of the grid. Obviously, they've got a lot of work to do to catch up with the likes of Aston Martin, McLaren, Ferrari and Mercedes, but they're a works team. It is possible they'll be looking to improve their straight line speed and aero efficiency this off-season. Obviously, we now take a look at Aston Martin Formula 1 team. They stick with the same lineup as everyone has done this season with Fernando Alonso and Lance Stroll. I personally believe that Lance Stroll should not be in an F1 car currently, but he's got his seat and he's got another chance to show us what he can do. Obviously, Aston Martin fell away in the 2023 season, but are they able to recoup some of that performance and get themselves back into the battle with Ferrari and Mercedes? Fernando Alonso, the still life in the old dog yet, is he going to be able to come back with the performances that he had last season? Obviously, yet to be seen, but... I think there is a good chance he will. Very good driver on his day 
and given the machinery, I think he can win more races. Now, let's look at the young driver lineup of McLaren. Oscar Piastri and Lando Norris sticking it out. Oscar Piastri will obviously be looking to add to his one sprint race victory that he got in Qatar this season. Let's see if McLaren can provide a car good enough to battle at the front end of the grid again. Lando Norris, he's been around at McLaren for quite a long time, still on that donut of no wins, but is that something that is going to be ready and available for them in 2024? Let's see what they can bring to the table. Now, let's take a look at Ferrari. Charles Leclerc and Carlos Sainz make up the lineup for Scuderia Ferrari, both looking to sign new contracts. I believe Charles Leclerc will get a longer one than Carlos Sainz, as we know he is a Ferrari boy through and through. Are they going to be able to get back into the fight with Red Bull after the winter? Obviously yet to be seen, but I think there is a good chance that Ferrari can mount a challenge on that top team. Now they've solved their tyre wear issues, it's important that they keep their head down and keep working hard on their car. Carlos Sainz will be looking to add to his race win in Singapore next season. And let's see what the Ferrari come to the table with in 2024. Mercedes obviously stick with their all English lineup of Lewis Hamilton and George Russell. Lewis Hamilton, seven time, eight time world champion, is looking to add to his race victories tally, is looking to add to his championship tally. Will Mercedes and James Allison have listened to Lewis Hamilton's feedback this season? And will they have listened to what George Russell has said too? Obviously, massive important that they get a car capable of fighting for race wins if they want to battle for the championship. Obviously, Red Bull. A big decision was made keeping Sergio Perez this off-season, a decision which I personally don't agree with. I like Sergio Perez as a Formula 1 driver, but I believe he should have been moved on. Obviously, a contract until the end of the 2024 season, but that doesn't mean a lot at Red Bull as we saw with Nick de Vries last year. Obviously, Max Verstappen will be heading into this championship looking to win four in a row. Despite the fact 2021 and 2022 being mauled by illegalities within Red Bull, he will still be looking for that fourth. It's massively important that this season isn't the same as last. So those are the teams and the drivers for the 2024 season, barring any major events over the winter. So let me know what your early predictions are in December for the 2024 season. And we'll come back to this within January where I'm going to make my pre-testing predictions and let you know how I think this season's going to go. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and I will see you in my next video. Make sure to go and find me on TikTok pictured here and Twitter pictured here. These are the places where I'll keep you all up to date with all my upcoming videos and my thoughts and feelings around the Formula One and football weekend.